What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out the Edge, Lita, and Matt Hardy love triangle. Easily one of the greatest feuds ever in WWE. Only because it was a real life story, a real life situation that was happening. And they turned into a storyline. And it was one of the best storylines ever in WWE. So we're gonna check this out. Appreciate all the love and support, man. Oh no, and how let's get right into it. Goes. Bros before hoes. It's a simple bro code we all follow. Mm -hmm. You never let a woman get in between you and your buds. That's how Most it of be. us follow that simple principle. Edge, on the other hand, not so much. Nah, he did not. You see, in 2005, Matt Hardy was in a long-term relationship with Lita. The two met at an indie show in 1999, and their mutual love for the pro wrestling business Damn. translated into love outside of wrestling, too. And when they were put together in WWE, it was a perfect match. Lita had gotten wildly popular among wrestling fans when she came in managing S.A. Rios, before later going on to manage Jeff Hardy and brother Matt in Team Extreme. One of the most beloved, risk-taking, and flamboyant teams of all time. Mm -hmm. Eventually, Matt and Lita's relationship was brought to WWE TV before them splitting up on screen in 2003. A few years later, and the two had been dating each other for some time now, and Lita found herself in an impregnation storyline with Kane. Which, uh. as a kid, this was so confusing. Yeah. Devil's favorite demon, indeed. During that storyline, her real-life boyfriend Matt Hardy was written off TV so that he could go get knee surgery. But Lita remained on the road for WWE. She was now without Matt. She didn't have anyone to make the long trips with, anyone to talk about the grueling schedule with. Enter Edge. Mm -mm -mm. At this point, Edge was on the rise in the main event scene. He and Christian had had their run as one of WWE's top tag teams, and now we're split up with each going their separate ways. Mm -hmm. By 2004, Edge was on the rise as one of the company's biggest heels, and it was during this time that he started to carpool with Lita. Lita asked Matt if this was okay, because emotionally she needed someone to be there while Matt was away. And Hardy said that this was no problem yeah. because he trusted Edge. The two were actually very close friends. After all, their two respective teams alongside the Dudleys made the TLC matches simply legendary. Mm -hmm. The two were so... That tag team scene with just those three teams alone. Perfect. Close that Hardy and Lita even attended Edge's wedding. So Edge and Lita are riding together while Matt is away. But after so much time with someone, eventually friendship blossoms into something more than that. Yes, this and happens. that's what was happening behind Matt's back. Lita has been quoted saying that when she suffered her neck injury, she started to think of life away from wrestling. And she said that she started to feel disconnected from Matt Hardy. She thought that once their wrestling careers were over, the two wouldn't have much in common. Oh. So she was already drifting away from Matt Hardy, and he didn't even know. Damn. Matt, on the other hand, has said that he thought he was going to marry this woman and wow. spend the rest of his life with her. That's how much Matt loved Lita. Matt was later alerted that something might be going on between Edge and Lita by Edge's wife, who told Matt about a text reading, I'm going to miss seeing you on the road. Love you. To Lita from Edge's phone. Like, Edge, why are you leaving your phone laying around like that? Matt asked Edge for an explanation, he got nothing. Asked Lita, and she said it was just friendly. The two had formed a strong bond mm. together and were just looking out for each other. Alright, nothing too sus. It could have just been friendly. Like, I always text chicks that I miss seeing them too, right? Alright, cool. <laughs> Eventually, Matt. Thanks. I always say, yeah, I miss you. Can't wait to see you again. Love you. Okay. <laughs> Hardy's suspicion died down, and Lita was injured at this point and spending time at home, so Hardy could watch out for any funny business going on. Until it was February 14th, Valentine's Day. Matt came home with presents for Lita, but Lita didn't get the homie Matt anything. Nothing. Mm. And that was her boyfriend. Or so he thought. He later checked Lita's phone and saw that there was another missed call from Edge. So Matt asked Lita what was going on. She said nothing was really going on, but she didn't know what was happening at this point. She was confused with the direction of her career and her future, but also shrugged it off as just a friendly relationship. 
Not getting the answers he wanted, Matt flat out called up Edge and he asked if something was going on, to which Edge downplayed the whole situation and said that yeah they'd gotten closer, but it was still friendly. At this point anyways. But what Matt had no idea of was that Lita had a second cell phone. Bro, oh, the savagery. Like, Edge no. and Lita, y'all are real-life heels before anything <laughs> else. Fact. This is some <laughs> Romeo and Juliet shit going on right here. No! But, Smarty Pants Lita left the phone at home while she was <laughs> away. And when she came back, she didn't check the phone and she went right to sleep. The same phone on which Edge had left multiple messages stating his love for Lita. Guess who got a hold of this phone? Oh, it was none no. other than Matt Hardy. Matt discovered the second phone, listened to the voice messages, and this is where shit went down. Imagine. Uh, just imagine someone that you're friends with and you asking them, hey, is there anything going on? They keep telling you no. Your girl don't even give you anything for Valentine's Day. And then you check her second phone that you probably didn't know she had. Just to hear your friend, your good friend, that you traveled the world with, wrestled with, is over here professing his love for your girl? It's time to go rogue. <laughs> Matt stormed into Lita's room while she was sleeping, yelled at Lita that they were going to play a game of tell the fucking truth. He was in a complete rage. He called Edge's wife and played the messages for her. After arguing with Lita, he threw her out of the house. Oh, he went rogue. He said, fuck yo, man. You get the up out of here. Damn. And then proceeded to call Edge, threatening him to stay away from his girlfriend and leave the two alone. At this point, this was too much to even save. The relationship had taken a drastic yeah. turn and things were about to explode even more. Over the coming days, Matt Hardy had conversations with Lita trying to repair the relationship because keep in mind, Matt Hardy loved this chick. He had been of screwed course. over by the person he thought he was going to spend the rest of his life with and to add insult to injury, it was one of his best friends making his life hell. The conversations with Lita and Edge didn't go anywhere. Infuriated at this point, news had been spread through the locker room that Edge and Lita had done this to Matt Hardy leading to alienation of the two in the locker room. Hardy Damn. and his close friends started to openly discuss his relationship on message boards, and it became clear to WWE fans that Hardy and Lita were no longer a thing because her pictures had been pulled from Matt's website. And Hardy was responding to questions about their relationship in a very snobby way. Remember how I said that Matt Hardy was injured? Well, at this time, he was scheduled to return, but he was told not to. WWE had gotten wind of Hardy's actions outside of the wrestling world, so they told him to just stay home. How he had made things public, even though they didn't need to be, they thought he behaved unprofessionally, he was told that they didn't want this affecting his performance in the WWE. Hmm. It had become public knowledge as to what had happened, and slowly the fans started to chant, You screwed Hardy, whenever Edge and Lita would appear in the ring. Mm. This naturally made the two some of the most despised characters on TV and outside the ring. But Matt knew that, yo, this is affecting my career. And at this point, he tried to iron things out with Edge and Lita, but they couldn't. Edge flat out said that he was in love with Lita, while Matt Hardy was too. The 2005 draft was upcoming and Hardy wanted Lita and himself to go to one brand and Edge go to the other so that they could repair their relationship. But those plans fell through. Mm. Matt Hardy went, alright, so you know what he did? He slashed the tire on Edge's rental car. I'd assume that Edge told the higher ups that it was probably Matt Hardy who did it because he didn't want to go by Hardy's rules. So then Matt received a call from John Laurinaitis informing him that it was over. His character had ran its course, and he was mm -hmm. released from the WWE. I remember that. They it had gotten him. so volatile, so personal, so heated between Edge and Hardy that this cost Matt Hardy the two things he loved. His girlfriend and, and a job with the WWE. Hardy had been warned multiple times that he needed to keep things professional or he was done. Edge and Lita have been quoted saying that they didn't intend for Hardy to lose his job over the matter, and this was a stressful time for them. Even they didn't know what was going on. They felt guilty, 
But in their mind, they were in a relationship that Hardy had no right to intervene in. Too much had already happened. You couldn't Ooh, save it. At this I'm point. just be honest with y'all, man. That's just tough, bro. To lose your lose the job that you love working for and the girl that you love. Oh, that's tough, bro. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. I like Edge, man, but at that time, that's going way against the bro code. You don't you don't do that. But damn, man. Point. The locker room alienated them. They had nuclear heat with the fans. Oh, yeah. They had tarnished their characters as a whole, which if you know anything about wrestling stories, bad characters are what show you the door almost immediately. From here, Lita started to get a hostile reaction every time she entered. People would call her a uh, <laughs> long-handed gardening tool. They would chant uh, S-L-U-T. They would chant You Screwed Matt. And for the first time in her career, she was starting to receive an unfavorable response. Yeah. The audience was on Matt's side after getting wind of the situation and how he had been treated unfairly by the WWE. Mm -hmm. So WWE themselves knew it was time. WWE decided that the fans already knew what was going on between Edge and Lita. So they made their real life relationship yep. translate on screen. And that probably was the best thing that could have happened. I know it's kind of messed up, but that was the best thing that could have happened. This is, I wish WWE would do more things like this. When they realize the situation, strike while the iron is hot. Because there's nothing they could do. The fans already know, I bet, well, we got to strike while the iron is hot now. And that's exactly what they did. At this point, Lita was in an on-screen relationship with Kane after being forced to marry him. And having her and Kane's baby killed by Snitsky, this that's a story for a completely so different cringe. video. But she turned on Kane, aligning with Edge, leaving Kane broken down, and he started a feud with Edge for the love of Lita. Pretty fitting if you ask me. These two then had a marriage ceremony which drew nuclear heat. Oh Edge my and Lita God. were playing up their relationship to 11 on screen, and in that segment, they played Matt Hardy's theme song when asked if anyone had objection to their marriage. The crowd popped huge when they heard Matt Hardy's music, only to realize that it was Lita and Edge messing with them. Oh. This drew even more heat Nuclear on the couple as heat. the real life situation had already gotten so much attention. These two had established themselves as the most disgusting, self-absorbed, relationship wrecking, nasty mofos <laughs> in the WWE. Both Edge and Lita knew that they wanted to progress their career forward. So they This went is how they did it. Even though they've said that they were uncomfortable with having their relationship translate over to WWE TV because of the amount of backlash that they had already gotten. Lita filed for divorce against Kane. She flushed away her wedding ring. She thanked Snitsky for killing her baby. She said she was proud to be the slut of the century because she loved Edge. Matt Hardy, on the other hand, was jobless. At this point, he made details about the situation clear to anyone who would listen. He let it be public knowledge that his best friend had cheated him with the woman that he thought he would have kids with one day. That's he cold. even reenacted the whole breakup situation, which was later released on DVD. The man had lost it. He had gone berserk, and he didn't have anything tied to him anymore because obviously it didn't work for the WWE. There's videos of him talking to cardboard cutouts of Lita, saying the randomest, most disturbing stuff. The breakup was that hard on Matt Hardy that he just couldn't move on. Yeah, Until of July course, of 2005, Edge was about to have a match with Kane. They show Edge walking to Gorilla backstage, and he's attacked by Matt Hardy, who oh, subsequently chased. Love this man. So, oh man, this is one of the best feuds to ever have watched. Oh my God. Chased off by security. He flees through the back door, but the commentators, they don't acknowledge it. They pretend that nothing has happened, and the show progresses forward as usual. In the match between Edge and Kane, Snitsky interfered, leading to him and Kane brawling in the crowd. Edge was free in the ring. Matt Hardy then jumped the guardrail and attacked Edge, being pulled back by security. WWE fans were clued into what they were doing here, and they sided with Matt Hardy, giving him a huge pop. He went on to grab a mic and addressed Edge by his, his real, real name, name of Adam. Mm -hmm. He said that he would make his life I miserable. Yep. He said Lito was a horrible person <laughs> and that WWE could he kiss his, his ass. ass yep. The dude at this point was the biggest badass with everyone behind him. He was so over. That was, I'm going to be honest with you, outside of him 
doing the uh, delete gimmick after he left WWE. This was the most over Matt had been at that point, right then and there. That was the most over he had ever been because the people were behind him. It was a believable story. People were already bought into it. They wanted to see him legitimately kick his ass. I love this segment, man. I'll forever always remember this segment. Oh, this is so cool. So now WWE knew they had a money-making feud on money. their hands. They wanted to blur the lines of what had mm -hmm. happened in real life and transition that into WWE programming. Both parties agreed to keep it professional for the sake of the company and respect for the storyline. Lita has even been quoted saying that she felt bad that Matt lost his job because of this and the only way to get his job back was to work on screen with him, even though it was an uncomfortable experience for her. Over the coming weeks, Matt Hardy attacked Edge on different occasions before eventually being hired back by Mr. McMahon and the match was made official for SummerSlam. Yeah, by SummerSlam. There was a bite this segment where they had Lita on as a guest. Matt Hardy called in and asked Lita why? Why did she do that? Lita came off as dismissive and very disinterested. But the interview felt like a genuine conversation between mm -hmm. boyfriend and girlfriend. Hardy came across as a bit of an obsessive boyfriend instead of the badass that WWE should have portrayed him as. Lita flat out said that she was in love with someone else. She wanted to keep their personal life personal, but it was Matt who made it widely known to everyone else. She said that by the rants and comments that Hardy had made, couldn't you see why she left him? Hardy was a psychopath. Hardy said that he left a promising position on SmackDown to come to Raw and be with Lita. But Lita ruined that, and that Johnny Ace had a personal vendetta against him. Keep in mind that Bite This was not a scripted show. In the Ruthless mm -hmm. Aggression documentary, Brian Gewirtz has been quoted saying that it was a show to get an unfiltered and authentic look at the superstars. So what you saw wasn't scripted. But we still don't know how much of it was fact and how much they were up playing the situation just to work us a little bit more. There was one other bite this segment where these two went back and forth. This time, hmm. Edge was involved. Edge told Matt Hardy that he was such a dork that he had had one serious relationship in his whole life. He basically said that he was whipped to Lita and obsessing about her. He said that he wasn't a man, he couldn't provide Lita with what a true man was. Hardy responded by saying that Edge was committing adultery while being married for not the first but second oh. time. In a promo on Raw, Matt Hardy told the fans that everything in the past little while had been false. The whole angle involving Kane and Lita was just that. It was a wrestling angle, but everything happening right now, that was true. That was completely real. He told everyone about the affair and how he'd been screwed over. Keep in mind, Matt Hardy was getting some huge reactions Damn. because of this badass character he was playing. But slowly, those started to die down. Here he came across as a psychotic whiner, even going on to say that the only thing that would make him more happy than permanently injuring Edge and ending his career would be if Edge died in a car accident. Yeah, then it's like, whoa, hold on bro, we get it, you're going rogue, but now you're taking the rogue level a little bit too far. <laughs> bro, Matthew Moore Hardy. You cannot say that. Got you. Edge responded by saying that he's only here because his girl fell in love with a real man, a main eventer, and that Hardy was nothing close to what Edge was. This feud was violent. It mm -hmm. was personal. And who knew if these two could actually put their outside differences aside and put on a great match. But they had a short and fair to say anticlimactic match yeah. at SummerSlam 2005 with Edge taking the win in under 5 minutes due to ref stoppage. Edge and Hardy's feud continued through 2005 with a street fight on Ooh. Raw and a great match at Unforgiven 05 where Matt Hardy came out on top. And there were no issues between the two thankfully. A loser leaves Raw match between the two sent Matt Hardy packing a smackdown. WWE higher ups thought that it would be a bad idea to have Edge, Lita and Hardy on the same yeah. roster because eventually some conflict would arise. Mm -hmm. As Edge and Lita were now dating, Matt Hardy was moved over to SmackDown where he had varying success capturing the US title. But for Edge, this feud sprung Edge into a different yep. stratosphere. Already having so much heat for this love triangle, 
Edge was able to build on that, and a matter of months later, he gave all us Cena kids PTSD when he cashed in on John yep. Cena to win his first of many WWE championships. This feud legitimately made Edge into a star. It did. Edge and Lito's on-screen relationship was trauma for some of us who grew up during this time. These two would come out, and you would swear you were on the hub. You weren't watching WWE. Mm -hmm. Like, they would come out, making out, glued to each other, eating it like it was pizza. The uh, the most infamous, uh, I think the highest rated, highest viewed segment, their little sex scene in the middle of the ring. I remember that. I was like, wow. Like, that was the highest view segment, I believe, still, ever on Monday Night Raw. It's crazy, bro. How one real-life feud can turn someone into a megastar. On your birthday, like, they would use the slimiest of tactics to beat all of your favorite stars. They even had a celebration on Raw. Like, Edge and Lita were on each other all the damn time that I bet if you were to walk by their locker room, all you would hear would be this. <laughs> Oh. If I may editorialize here for a brief second, though, I feel as though WWE didn't capitalize on Matt Hardy properly. They did. They had the potential for him to be one of their biggest stars because the reactions were so strong, but they took the wrong path. Certified flack for this, but I'm not crazy over the woken Matt Hardy character. V1 Matt Hardy is my favorite version of Matt Hardy. And in 2005, I feel like he was on the cusp of something big. But instead, he came across looking very desperate, mm. which split the fans quite a bit. For Lita, this storyline can't overshadow one of the most successful women's careers of all time. She was such a phenomenal character that her versatility in different situations and making you genuinely love and hate her is a connection that very few can recreate. She retired just a short time after this controversy in 2006, because this angle caused a ton of scrutiny in her day-to-day -day life. Damn. But she's gone down as one of the greatest women's performers in wrestling history. And how about Edge? Going on to have one of the greatest careers in WWE history mm -hmm. and leaving this controversy a footnote in his legacy. Yeah. Today he's still going and he's one of the most respected performers in the entire world, just like Matt Hardy. This story is just whack. Like It's so interesting to talk about as a fan, but if you were involved in it, I can't imagine what Ooh. all three of these humans went through. What followed after was Edge and Lita were no longer an on-screen couple or a couple at all. Mm -hmm. This is the funniest part and the embodiment of how to never let chicks get in the way of you and your bros. Edge is happily married with Beth Phoenix and mm -hmm. now has two young girls. Matt Hardy is also happily married to Rebby Sky and has three children. Mm -hmm. While Lita, on the other hand, is the only one of the three yet to be married or have kids. Mm -hmm. The two have since forgave each other and all of them have a healthy relationship to this day. Reports have surfaced to see. later on that Edge and Lita's relationship was actually very brief, but WWE TV showcased it as much more than what it actually was. Uh, Overall, okay. WWE managed to capture lightning in a bottle with this feud. They gave fans a real-life program that they wanted to see, and all three delivered. So, fellas, what's the moral of this story? Always bros first. Next Facts. time your girl seen says you're a little bit too overprotective or you feel like something's up, just show her this video. And do try to get to the bottom of what's happening. Because you never know what people are doing. Now, all jokes aside, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to drop it a like. That this was a dope out. one. Subscribe if you want to see more. If you have a funny breakup story. This was absolutely... I love this video, man. Gotta definitely give this a like. It's, it's a, one of those storylines watching it happen. Watching it unfold. And then really seeing the truth behind it started to come you know come to life on television is just insane man and it's just one of those things where it's like at the end of the day something like that happens you know it, it, it sucks but look how it ended ultimately you know what i'm saying i'm not sure if lita is in a relationship or married but both of them are married edge and matt and have kids you know what i'm saying so it's crazy how things come full circle but at the end of the day like he's been saying throughout this video 
bros before you know what, man. Don't ever do that to your homies or someone that you consider a friend. If a chick is trying to get close to you and you know she, you know, cool with your homies, step away from that. Remove yourself because at the end of the day, it just creates more pain and more problems. But comment down below. Let me know. Did you guys enjoy this feud when it originally happened? If you guys remember this, I thought this was entertaining as hell. I just do. I do believe they dropped the ball ultimately with Matt Hardy. But this was an entertaining feud. I know it's messed up. This is a real life situation. But this was one of the real life situations that at the time it was it was money. It was it was one of those things where it's like it worked. It worked ultimately in that time period. But appreciate all the love and support. Road to 70k. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.